So, Zin is the game I have been working on since May. It is my second attempt at making a full long game. That is the official logo for the game Zin. I have been working on this game yeah, since May, like I said. Now, I have now decided to show you guys some parts of Zin. So, what was Zin to begin with? I think I'll go with my original idea with an FPS adventure game. I think I'll go with that next, because I'm assuming, <laughs> knowing my skills now, that I'll be able to complete it. So, Ah, young me. So full of hope. Anyways, that was the original plan. It is changed from first person to third person. It's higher quality than what it was going to be at the beginning. Here are some screenshots of most of the stages for the name of the stage is on the top, and then the name of the song that plays is at the bottom. Most of those stages I haven't touched since I just finished the base of it, so some of them do some of them do look unfinished. That's the reason. The music you heard was "Here Comes Help," which is gonna be like a cutscene theme for Zin. Hope you guys like that. Now let's meet the cast of Zin. This is who you're gonna be playing as. I don't have a name for him. The weapon he uses on the left is a gun and a sword. He has the ability to do a double jump. You'll be playing as him throughout the entire game. He's the main character. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about him. These are the supporting characters. They'll be within levels, but you won't be able to play as them. Uh, the person with the green, that can turn into a shotgun and like a mini bow staff. I'm figuring out, trying to figure out who to get rid of, because I feel like there's too much characters. Over here is King Hides. Uh, I think you can try to figure out what the design is based off of. And it basically shows like two forms of him, one being what he normally looks like, one what he'll look like in the battle. You'll battle him twice in the game. Over here are two other supporting characters you won't be able to play, play as them you won't be able to fight them but they're here for the story over here is a, another character you'll be fighting I'm trying to figure out which design to go design to go for maybe i'll try to find a way to incorporate both into it this is what the main character looks like in the opening stage before you get all that high-tech upgrades another supporting character zx basically is gonna give you like tips in the main lobby. Another supporting character, Professor Carid, just like uh, ZX, will be in the lobby and support you. These are the stage bosses. There's six main stages, and as you can see, there's four of them. Two of them are the same boss. Uh, not all stages will have bosses, so these are just like the main ones you'll be fighting. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about the soundtrack. Well, most of the soundtrack is actually done. I just need a few uh, cutscene themes and like the ending theme, credits theme. But I'm thinking I'm going to wait until I actually make those to make so I know how long they're going to be. So, what does it sound like? Well, like the last defense OST, I made the entire OST in jump box. But now, I export it as a MIDI and take it to LMMS where I apply sound fonts so like I can make it sound like Mega Man X 
uh, Super Metroid, Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, why did I choose to go back in time for my sound instead of making it high quality? That's on me. This is the official, well, current Zen OST cover. I made this today. Uh, it's not final. It's I'm definitely going to be replacing it. I'm already seeing some issues with it. This is what it looks like right now. You better be happy with it. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, the you can listen to the OST on SoundCloud. I've uploaded like all the music to there, as well as music for other games that I've been working on. So yeah, I'll leave the link for it down below so you guys can check it out. Now, release date. When is the game gonna release? Well, I was originally wanting to go for an August release this year. Boy, was I stupid. I mean, that's not new, but whatever. So then I was wanting a December release. Looking at that now, that's probably not going to happen. Why? Because I'm working on like other projects for other people. I think nine, including mine. And they all take a lot of time, which means I'm going to have less time working on my game. But there is some good stuff to it. I'll get more skill in these, which will make Zin better, and I'll have more money well, as well to make Zin better. I can even add some like stuff that I wasn't even planning on adding to begin with, like collectibles. Eh, that's all. I'm so, I think I'm going to be going for a 2022 release. Do I know which month? No. But I can guarantee you it'll be coming out in 2022. Well, that's all. I hope you guys are at least getting somewhat excited for Zen. I know I am. I mean, I have to be. I'm making it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll definitely be able to answer them. Please don't make any stupid ones, like, is the game going to have bugs? Of course it's going to have bugs. Bugs are in every game. Well, later.